So, um, I found a picture of myself from about a year ago. And this person that I saw back then, back then all I cared about was, does my hair look good? Are my eyebrows plucked? Is my face shaven? Am I bloated? Are my six packs popping? Am I vascular? Whatever. All these things, like, this is all I cared about back then. Looking good, looking good, and looking good. Three things I only cared about. <laughs> Very uh, egotistical and narcissistic way to look at life. Not very healthy. Not very sustainable, might I add. Because see, for the longest, for the longest time, I only validated myself when I looked good. And that happened with other people too. See, they were like, people would only compliment me when I looked good, when I wasn't bloated. Oh, you're looking good today. Hair, all that shit is looking good. Is on point. And see, I had this uh, crisis of identity see for the longest time all I cared about was me looking good it's like <clears throat> my hair has to look good jeez <clears throat> my eyebrows have to look good my 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 six pack I can't be bloated I can't if I'm bloated then I'm gonna water fast I'm not gonna eat today I'm only gonna drink coffee piss and shit it all out <laughs> And that was the place from whence I came. And I even made a video back then, funnily enough. A YouTube video. And this YouTube video, if I were to post it today, is perfect. Um, it was a perfect representation of who I was at the time. Because the video is so brilliantly empty and it offers nothing really like all I talk about is a bunch of hooey and from a very ungrounded place not to mention you could tell throughout the video I was standing at angles trying to look good I didn't care about getting my point across and that's what I that's who I was back then it's like I got to look good before I do anything. It's like, I gotta, yeah, see, and go on with my point. <laughs> it's like, no, sometimes you have to be a, an ugly piece of shit. <laughs> because see, a few months ago, I had this um, identity of crisis, you know, crisis of identity. <whistles> Damn, crisis of identity, yes. That, that identity of crisis, that's not a fucking word. Crisis of identity. See, what happened was, last February, I, I gained a lot of weight. Because see, back in Jordan, I must have weighed like 180, 180 pounds. And then when I got to the States, I got up to as heavy as 215 pounds. That's a lot of weight over 30 pounds, excuse my mistake. And see, I had this crisis of identity, as I said, I had to really let go of who I was, of who I was initially, because I just realized this is just unsustainable. I just can't be this person anymore. It's too fucking tiring, looking good all the time, and can't be bloated. It's like, I'm not fucking human. You see, funny thing is, back then when I would get bloated, I would binge like crazy. I'd have like 15,000 calories in one day. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I used to eat a shit ton. Then I would water fast for like two or three days and try to lose all the weight. It was horrible. It was really bad. Very unhealthy, might I add, because water fasts are not meant to be done off.
off the dome. It's like you gotta plan the shit. You gotta eat the right vitamins and the right. You gotta just make sure your mental space is not only the fucking physical. Like you gotta make sure your mental space is in the right place as well. Anyway, so I reached this point of gaining 30 pounds more than 30, 35 pounds, excuse me. And I suddenly realized that if I can't have confidence right now, then when can I ever have confidence? If I can't walk with a, with a swagger, if I can't walk and own who I am, then when will I ever? So I took full advantage of that. And that is the time where I started to rip my insecurities one by one. I began, not finished, I don't think I'll ever finish with, um, in regards to um, strengthening who I am. But that was a time where I was battling a lot of demons. And I had to rip out insecurities from the fucking root and look at them in the eye and say, what do you want? <laughs> I really, it was a very weird time for me. And I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of people. Another thing I was afraid of a year ago. A year ago, I I wouldn't have believed that I was going to be this lonesome person. No, I wouldn't have believed that I was going to be the guy who would one day weigh 215 pounds. And see, the funny thing is, through me gaining all that weight, I fixed my relationship, not only with myself, but with the food as well because I don't binge half as much as I used to. I actually lost weight from that time of me weighing 215 fucking pounds. Anyhow, I digress. The point I'm trying to make is sometimes what you're afraid of most of the times I have made another mistake is that most of the time when you're afraid of a task or something you have to go through inevitably then that's probably where you have to go man so sack up put your head down put your nose to the grindstone because uh, once you go down, down only implies up. And I gotta be there forever. And I, I believe, I don't think I'm up yet, but I'm okay with that. I'm a patient person and I can wait it out. Because I don't believe um, this whole happiness in the now thing anyway. <laughs> and I don't believe in going out and finding yourself in all these exotic environments, going to fucking China or Laos, fucking wherever, find yourself and explore. I just believe these are different experiences that build up to who you are. So the point is, go through what you hate to know what you love and go through what you're afraid of to conquer it. Because as I said in a previous video, monsters, they cannot be announced. Which is why I shaved my fucking head. That was a monster I had to announce. Announce your monsters. Go through what you hate. Go through what you don't want to go through. Rip your insecurities out from the root. Breathe and become who you are, man.